All right, welcome back. So today we're going to go a little bit further into bridges. In particular, we are going to build this suspension bridge that I found, figured out, played and toyed around with stuff, and I got it to work, and I like it a lot, and we're going to show you how you do that today. Um, I've been building out my low town, my sector three, and it is, man, it's looking really good. And so I've got, you know, I've got my signs up, downtown coming ahead, this here sector three, because we've got two small entrances. I shoved one of those things way up underneath there. Yeah, it's coming along well. So we're going to learn how to make this one, but then we're going to learn how to make another one too. Now, depending on your height, this is going to depend on which style you might want better. And this one is with the Alpha Building going up two versus the other ones with the Alpha Building all the way down. And it uses the one of the same buildings and then the rest are different. So, let's show you what we do. First thing you're going to need is an Alpha Building because that's our highway. And we're going to go ahead and put two of them down. We're going to turn snapping on. Let's move this to a snap point. Okay. We're going to turn that around that way. Boom. Now we got the bow ties. Perfect. We're happy. And let's go ahead and stick down our traffic lane. We'll just do a single lane. And any there it is. Traffic's coming. Now we got our traffic. So for this one, we're going to use low town. We're going to keep this at the lowest level. So if you look here, I can't go any lower with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find that one right there. I'm going to hit Alt so I can make two of these. And the purpose of using this one, when I raise it all the way up to the max, if you look here, it has this section that comes off that, I mean, it literally just, it looks like a bridge post. I mean, a bridge column, I guess. It, it just it just looks like that's exactly what it should be. Uh, it's hard to explain it any other way. So we'll get it close enough into position. We don't actually want to go too nutty with it because it goes crazy and goes way too far in. So now the next building we're going to need, we're going to have to come into New Eden and it popped up first. We need four of these. Hold Alt. And now we got four. So we are going to bring this up with snap on that just one level. No higher than one level. It looks a little weird when you go any higher. We'll, we'll see if that works. That might be too high. I might have to bring it down without snap on. So, this bad boy is the wrong direction. There we go. All right, so now that we have them in place, the two options you have is you can either just snap it like that, and it literally snaps right to it, and you have the light on each edge. Or you can snap it in, and then you can turn snapping off. I then take this, and I push it in until the light goes away. It's up to you, personal preference. I think having the light goes away brings the visual appeal down just a little bit and I think it makes the tower look a little more impressive than with the light up it makes the tower look a little smaller even though obviously it's exactly the same thing so now with snapping off what we need to do is we need to encroach now this would be if you're going to do overhead signs to go all right that looks good right there. So then these bad boys, we're going to, if I can grab it. So, so here's a problem right there. You see how that snaps, how it's clipped over, the red part is? I don't actually like that. So I'm going to move this over a little bit to where the red's just at the edge. This is a personal preference. You do you how you want to do you, but I feel like having the red right at the edge works very well. Now, I feel like these are a little too far in. I think that works right there.
All right, now we have one level of bridge complete and it looks fantastic. So that's one, one idea. So if you want the lowest level, I think that works out very, very well. You can also go in further if you want to hide that line, but I kind of like having a little bit of it. So now if we want to build this big bad boy, we need to go to Central BD, and it came up first, so we're going to need two of these. Ah, we'll just do one. You'll get the idea. So it's this one that has the lights. We're going to turn snapping on, and we're going to go up. I believe it's two. Nope, it's three. So we're coming up three. Let's, let's go the other direction so that we can easily see what we're doing. So, we got that. We're going to set this to a snap point. Say, yep, that works for me. You can see how much taller that is. Now we're going to grab our alpha building. Turn it. We got snap on. Crank it right there so it's centered. And then we're going to come up one. So we have a little bit taller of a road deck this time. And you can see it's not quite in the right spot. That's okay. We can fix that later. So we're still on this. That's good. We're going to find a spot that makes us happy. And here comes our traffic. All right. So now we have that set. We are going to use the exact same building. This time we're going to go up a little higher. Back to New Eden. Two of these. So we're going to go up to the point that that leaf comes out. But we're going to go one higher. Because when you first come up... It's got this double leaf, and we don't want the double leaf. We just want the single leaf. All right, So, and it also gives a much steeper incline. So, we need to change this around. There we go. And we're going to bring these guys over. Now, when this snaps, you can see that it snaps, in my opinion, not in the correct spot. I, I would prefer it to snap right here, but it snaps centralized, which makes sense. Of course it snaps centralized. I mean, with the way the game works, it that obvious. But it looks a little weird to me. So what I do with this is I turn snapping off. I'm going to cinch in my alpha building. Maybe. This is one of the things that I, I do hope he fixes. It's kind of annoying sometimes. I want it just to where the central BD building touches. No more, no less, just so it touches. Then I'm going to bring this over to where it just touches as well. Now, for personal appearance, you could leave it like this. You could cinch it in. On this one, with this tower having being all lit and everything, I like the extra light on it. So I'm going to leave it that way. Once again, bring it over until it's just touching. Leave it like that. So you have a nice tall tower. And you've already noticed there's one problem. You have this little bit sticking out over here. I don't really have a way to get rid of that. So maybe that's your outside. That's that's would say the only problem I have with this. Now, obviously this tower wouldn't be a building that has lights and everything. So one way you can deal with this, you can either do it with this large and have a little bit of light going up, which kind of makes sense, or you can do it with mediums. It's a little more time consuming. Oh, should have gone up all the way. I'm going to use something that I have in my repertoire. I'm going to use my... Uh, get up there. My building lights. Alright. Let's do... Well, it's kind of a Tron color, so let's do some Tron colors. This is going to be left. Oops, they're transparent, right? That's not going to work. My bad. So I have a blackout. It's just a black background image. And it, I use it to black out these lights when I want. No 
quote unquote windows to show through. And you could do it to these sides as well, run it all up if you want to do that and have more of a uh, static or you could just leave it with lights, that's up to you. But yeah, that gives you two separate ways. This is more, man, this is almost like like 50s uh, si not cyberpunk, um, steampunk kind of look to it. This looks more modern, but I like both. I like both ideas. Very, very interesting, and that gives you a little bit more to play with now to build out your city. Thanks for watching.